Less than 50 miles southeast of Chicago, nestled along the southern tip of Lake Michigan and in the heart of northwest Indiana, lies the pride and joy of the region, the Indiana Dunes National Lakeshore. Many know it as a family tradition for their yearly vacations, as it boasts activities like swimming and hiking. Others may know it as the home to some of the United States' most bustling steel mills that still line the lakeshore today. And many, many more view this magnificent land feature as if it were their own backyard, visiting it regularly for the spectacular views and recreational activities that it offers on a daily basis. Although this majestic and highly studied natural landform has been given several labels like home or getaway, it lived a long life before being plagued with human interaction and experiencing its side effects. These interactions, along with the effects they impose upon the dunes, call for examination and are the subject matter for this short film. Indiana Dunes National Lakeshore Human Interactions as an Effect on Ecology the Indiana Dunes were formed as a result of the continual melting and refreezing of the Wisconsin glaciers over 11,000 years ago. Human interactions have existed since the very start of the formation of the dunes, albeit early interactions produced minimal ecological effects on the dunes, as the activities that took place there were of conscientious Native Americans in the region. Earlier civilizations had minimal impact compared to more recent populations, as technology and other ways of living have dramatically advanced. Thanks to ecologists like Henry Cowles and the push for the National Lakeshore, the dunes can still be enjoyed in many ways today. Development of the dunes, especially in the way of recreational development, began in the late 1800s and can still be seen today. Hiking trails mapped throughout the national portion of the dunes, as well as the state park, have been a huge draw to the dunes, especially for Chicagoans. People are able to climb the dunes on trails and boardwalks. Because of this, visitors take it upon themselves to climb in areas not designated by the parks, leaving what's known as social paths, and they have become a huge problem. The Dunes National Lakeshore Park Superintendent, Paul Lubavitz, recognizes this as a large ecological issue. We have a big problem here with what we call social trails, people who choose their own adventure. And we try to focus people to use the designated trails because they've been laid out and designed and constructed to minimize the impact on plant communities. But the social trails, which are really everywhere, have just created um, fragmented habitats and accelerated erosion. They're a big problem here. Things like the Three Dune Challenge, where participants run up and down three large dunes, has encouraged many social paths. Many people flock to the dunes for swimming and sunbathing in the warm summer months, while at the beach it's likely you'll also find people tossing a ball or a frisbee around or building sandcastles. Fishing is also a huge attraction when weather is warm and comfortable. These kinds of activities leave little to no negative impact on the dunes as they are altered on a daily basis by the wind and waves. Biking has been a growing activity at the dunes on the roads and paths inside the state and national parks. While visiting the park, it is also not uncommon to see visitors horseback riding through the forested part of the dunes in what is called the older dunes. Camping and picnicking are among the most highly favorited activities in the Indiana Dune State Park as well. One major problem with this is that it creates litter problems and encourages erosion. Plus, the more hard surfaces constructed on the dunes, the more of an impact there is on watershed and destruction of the ecosystem. One of the biggest human interactions since the late 19th century has been the development and use of steel mills and power plants right along Lake Michigan. Although the steel mills are a big industry and at one time employed a large number of people, they unfortunately have done irreversible damage and have been the single most detrimental impact on the dunes. Entire dunes have been wiped away for the construction of these mills. What is worse is the ecosystem within the developed areas were destroyed. The steel mills have also produced excessive pollution, killing animals and plant populations in the area. 
It is clear to see the love for the Indiana Dunes and the ways that the people use it for recreational purposes. But these activities come at a cost to the ecosystem in the dunes. So ask yourself, is our desire for a lakefront home, a beach to sunbathe on, water to swim in, or a trail to go horseback riding on, more important than the life of another species, of an animal or a plant, perhaps becoming extinct? Once it is gone, there is no turning back. Be conscious of your impact on the ecosystem. You never know which plant or animal is the key to your own survival.